Hello, it's Donnie. And you have just visited Diamond Painting by Donnie's channel. Today I am going to do a little bit of um, Amazon items that I received. I'm going to do a comparison review on one item and just show you a couple of the other things I bought. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is something that I picked up from the recommendation of Danielle from Stitcherista. Uh, she uses a tilt table, um, not just a tabletop tilt table desk like I have, um, but her entire desk is a tilt table. So her diamond painting is always at a tilt and that's where she does her diamond painting. Um, but my workspace um, that I have to do everything from, I don't I do have a desk, but I can't access it. So I do all my videos here. I do all my reviews. I do all my paintings in the same space. So I'm always having to constantly move things around for whatever it is I'm doing. But um, anyway, that's what I was going by is the fact that her tilt table, in order to put a uh, diamond painting tray drill tray um, on the tilt table, you need to have something that's going to uh, hold on to it. And so I picked up one of these off of her um, influencer page. I will give you a link to everything that you see here down below. Uh, this is one of those bead mats. This is the one I found on her page. I think she bought quite a few of them, but I'm guessing this is the one she likes the best. But all, all it is, is something, like you've seen those commercials where you can stick anything anywhere. And I'm guessing that's what this is. It just has more grooves. Mainly, it's meant for beading. Uh, people put beads and stuff on there while they're working. But that doesn't work so well with diamond painting. Because when you go to try and pick the beads up with your diamond painting pen, it's, they don't come off. Because this is really sticky. And you can clean them run it under water and it will restick it. So I will stick this on my tilt table close to where I'm working because I mean I can put it on my desk it's not my table itself and then you know diamond paint like this but that's a lot of shoulder motion that I'm trying to avoid um, and I need I'm trying to stop saying um all the time. So I wanted to get this so that I could have it near the area that I'm working so that I'm just able to do this motion instead of the long range motion because I was getting worn out and tired and that's not going to work. So we're going to give this a shot on my next drill with me. I will have it set up so you can see it in use. But it's just it's like sticky but it's really reusable. It's like the sticky on your canvas. It's that sticky. Well, it's not that sticky. I mean, it's sticky, but not to the point where it's permanent. But look, look at that. I mean, and I'm going to want to use the bigger trays because these, the grooves aren't as big. So the, the diamonds will, if they're at an angle, they will fall. So I will probably be using one of my larger trays. These grooves are a little deeper and this one might be good for that because this looks even deeper than these. Let's see how that sticks. Oh, that was a great example. Let me take the paper off. So it'll stick on there like that. And it'll be, a, the weight of it pulled it down because I wasn't holding it right. But even at a upright angle, it'll hold. Yeah. So it's going to be a, at an angle like this. So it'll hold really, really nicely. That one, or let's try this one. There we go. Shake in it there, show you it doesn't... And it's not like I'm going to be going through an earthquake every time I do this. 
diamond painting. So I'm excited about doing that, getting that. I really have been holding off on doing my next drill with me because it was too tedious and I have bursitis in my shoulders. So that I didn't want to go through that. All right. The next thing I did was I wanted to buy stock in, uh, Ziploc baggies because I keep running out and I don't have a place in town here where I can just run and get more. Closest Walmart is pretty far, about half hour away. So I placed an order for a thousand and I got the wrong size. I thought, oh, one inch by one inch. Perfect. Look at how tiny these are. This, there's a hundred of them in this little pouch here. I'll show you. That's two of them. They're the size of, I think, a quarter. Yep. Because they were advertised for coins. Yeah. So I might be able to fit one pack of 200 drills in, in one of these. So if I get into a painting that has one single packs, which I have had several of them, you know, I'll use these. Um, I will, it still has enough room for a label. And as long as I'm keeping them in the bigger Ziploc bags, that should be fine because I just keep them in these long enough to transfer them long enough only until I go to actually do the painting and then they will be transferred into a container that is more easy to work with. All right, so when I realized how tiny these were and said, okay, well, I can save on my other bags by putting the singles in here. And then I placed another order and I'm like, okay, the ones I normally get are one, one and a half inches by two. And I'm thinking, well, they don't have to be that big. So I'll go with one and a half by one and a half. So I ordered 2,000 of them. They're slightly smaller than the ones I normally use, but they will be just fine. That's just the perfect size. In fact, this is the size I was looking for when I bought the other ones. And the other ones I got um, at Walmart, and then I ordered more off of um, Consumer Crafts because they were having a sale where you didn't have to pay for shipping. So I ordered a few bags from there and I'm on my last package. Well, second to the last package, I should say. So I will have bags plenty for quite a while. The bigger size I don't use very often, but I have plenty of those as well. And that's that for my bags. I pay, oh goodness, here, hold on a second, I'll get you how much I pay for them. All right, for the smaller ones, I ordered a thousand and that cost me six dollars and forty nine cents. And then I ordered the two thousand of the one and a half inch by one and a half inch for eleven ninety nine. So that was less than double the price of thousand one inch by one inch so I figured that was a great price and I still think that's a great price so yeah that was pretty good um, the bead mat cost me $5.99 I think somebody just wants to say hi real quick hi. and you weren't supposed to get this wet she's not meant to get wet this is like a zoom zoom you don't get them wet okay she's got a Christmas stocking on her hand Nobody can see that. Okay. Let me finish my video now, okay? I'm almost done. I know. All right. So the other thing that I picked up the other day, I paid $4.59 for it, was this uh, pill crusher. Um, Danielle also was showed us how she uses her pill crusher that she picked up. Uh, to put in your drills that are clumped together, not the ones that are oily, not the ones that are staticky, the ones that are like manufacture uh, clumped together. Um, sometimes it can just be a defect and they're like molded together. Those ones aren't coming apart. 
but there's the other ones that you have that are kind of like where you can stick your thumbnail in between and pop them open. But I found that they go flying a lot. So I got this pill crusher because it was only $4.59. And, I mean, it's great if you want to use it for a pill crusher because this top unscrews and you put your pills in there and you twist it down and you crunch them into fine powder. Right, so it's good for crushing pills, and it's got this little container here for holding pills, and I don't know, whatever, but it's not good for separating drills. It, um, whatever, uh, they get caught in the edge over here, and they just sit over there. So, I had to keep undoing it, shake them into the middle, try and get it in there, and then pop. And I was able to pop a couple open, but I'm like, okay, maybe I should not have gone with... In fact, you can still see there's a drill in there, a the pink one. <laughs> I didn't get them all out. I guess... It, oh, it's stuck to the top of the lid. There it is. So, I would not recommend this one. To separate your drills. What I did was I went back to her influencer page and I found the exact one that she ordered and if I would have done that to begin with, I was just trying to save a little bit of money, I probably would have been fine because hers works stupendously. Let's look at it. This is the first time I'm opening it. I just got it today. It came in the mail. This one costs a little bit more. It costs, let's look here, $13.99. So it's like three times the price, but it does what we need it to do. All right. So this actually has a cutter in it as well. I ordered the same one she did, so this better be the right one. It looks like it. All right, so... I see the cutter. I don't remember seeing that on hers, but it does have the nice sharp blade for cutting your pills for travel, I guess. I don't know. Um, it's got the same section on the bottom. I don't know what it's supposed to be for. Storage? No, that's not storage. Maybe for drinking a little bit of water? I don't know. Uh, let's see if I can figure this out. Oh, okay, so this one top part, that's all that is, is the pill cutter. This part, maybe, if this, see this thing here, this is what makes this work good for drills. It's got all these grooves, and it's got the grooves in there. So you're going to put your drills in here. I don't know why that's, I don't even know why the top turns. I'm not sure. But this isn't sharp or anything. It's just grooved. You put your drills in there, and then you're going to turn this and crunch them. I see. I thought hers turned, and you could turn it and turn it and turn it. But apparently, when she was turning it, that was them crunching. So, she got a purple one. This one, I like blue, so I'm just still not sure what this part turns for. But the bottom part's the part you turn for crushing the pills. This is going to boggle me why there's this big section here. Oh, because that pops off and you can store your pills in there. <laughs> That's where the storage is. Okay. And I guess you could use it as a drinking cup too. But you can store your little pills in there. So maybe when I go on vacation, I can take this with me. I don't need to crush my pills, but always having a cup to drink your pills, drink your pill, yeah, drink your uh, water for your pills would be nice. But for $14, it better work. I'm hoping it's the same one as hers because I followed her link and 
I really need something because I will sit there for, for quite a while sometimes, especially on my Heaven and Earth designs. Colors, there's some colors I haven't even gotten to yet. I will sit there and I'll push on them with my thumb. And if they don't separate, then I will... I normally have some kind of thumbnail. And I will use my thumbnail to stick in there and separate it. And that works for the most part. But like I said, they end up flying half the time. So I want to be able to keep them from going everywhere and keep track of them and actually use them. That's why I did this. You don't have to have this in order to diamond paint. You don't have to have this to separate your drills. There are other methods. There is the method where I just gave my green trays to my daughter because she's actually started doing her own diamond painting today. I was thrilled. The one that I told you that I bought for her, that I was going to do for her, the Beauty and the Beast Rose, um, she wanted to do it because she's bored and it's summer and the ones we ordered for her haven't come yet. So I gave her a bunch of supplies and sent her to her room to do it. Well, she wants to do it in there. <clears throat> so she took my trays, but you can take two of the basic trays, the smallest ones they have. They fit inside of each other perfectly. You can, you can put your drills in there. You can in one of them and you can put another one on top and you move it around and, it, and it'll crunch them for the most part. And that will work. Like I said, for the most part, for most of them, there will still be the one or two or few or whatever that don't separate. And they don't go flying that way because they fit right inside of each other. I know I don't have any to give a demonstration, but I wasn't thinking that I would need to. And then it came to me. So it's not Christmas yet. Why are you singing a Jingle Bell song? <laughs> anyway, that's it for this video. I am trying to get caught up so hard now I don't have my grandson today so I should be able to get some more stuff done and hopefully I can love you guys thank you for subscribing thank you for sticking with me and all my chaos because this life I love I love my life and I love my daughter and I love my diamond painting but you know what comes first to me so I will see you in my next video have fun diamond painting and enjoy the weather. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Okay, she's saying goodbye in her dino dinosaur. Yep. Bye.